Pro Group Management, workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Good morning, everyone. I'm Renee Summerauer. Let's get right to our top stories this morning, sponsored by Carnegie Heights. As more Californians arrive in Las Vegas, home prices are continuing to skyrocket, reaching another all-time high. Review Journal's Jen Ah has the latest numbers for us. Good morning, Jen. Good morning to you, Renee. That is right. The buying frenzy continues. In April, the median sales price of a previously owned single family home was $375,000, up another 3.3% from the previous record high set in March, and a whopping 21% from April of last year. Personally, as a real estate reporter, I've been covering real estate in Las Vegas for uh, almost nine years, and I have never seen the market moved this fast. I have never heard of homes selling, you know, or, or going under contract within a day or two of, ho of them being listed, of homes receiving multiple, if not dozens of offers. Just never seen anything like it. As more workers are allowed to work from home, many from California are reportedly coming to the more affordable Las Vegas area. Renee? Henderson's mayor is backing the city's police department after a review journal investigation found that a number of officers with multiple misconduct allegations kept their jobs. Our investigation found that officers often received reprimands or counseling for issues as serious as kicking a motorist who was having a diabetic seizure. Mayor Deborah March said that the officers involved received proper punishment, and she praises the current police chief, Thedrick Anders, for making changes in the department. I'd like to share my appreciation for Chief of Police Thedrick Andrus, who took the helm of the Henderson Police Department in July 2019 and has actively worked to change the culture of the department to highlight professionalism, accountability, and transparency. A 4.7 magnitude earthquake shook northern Nevada on Thursday night. The quake happened at 9.35 p.m. and was centered around 11 miles northwest of Truckee, California, north of Lake Tahoe. No damage was immediately reported. In your entertainment news, sponsored by DiscoverYourNevada.com, brought to you by Travel Nevada, poker legend Phil Helmuth won some bragging rights over a rival who had questioned his skills. Helmuth beat fellow poker champ Daniel Negranu in a second round of their high-stakes duel series Wednesday at the Aria. He won $100,000 in the heads-up match. Going into the first round, Negranu had said that Helmuth couldn't compete against top professionals and that his record was not a true measure of skill. Now let's take a look at your local weather forecast sponsored by One Hour Air. No matter the season, no matter the reason, One Hour Air is here for you. Happy Friday, everyone. The winds are back in town today into the evening. Gusts could get as high as 30 miles per hour. Still, sunny skies today with highs near 94 degrees. For your evening, mostly sunny skies, lows in the upper 60s. Winds will remain around 26 miles per hour. For the weekend, breezy conditions will drop going into Saturday and Sunday, only hitting around 18 to 20 miles per hour. Temperatures in the 90s for your daytime highs. Temperatures slipping back into the upper 80s next week. YouTube will remind you when the next 7 at 7 newscast is uploaded. Just subscribe by hitting this button down below and don't forget to give us a like. In your health news, sponsored by 4M Dental, love your smile again. The state's Department of Corrections is reporting that nearly half of Nevada's prisoners have received at least one dose of their COVID-19 vaccine. The state began to administer doses in April. As of Tuesday, more than 5,000 out of the nearly 10,700 prisoners had been vaccinated. This after the Review Journal reported that 55 prisoners had died after testing positive for the coronavirus. More than 10 vaccine clinics are planned within prison facilities over the next two weeks. In your business news, sponsored by Bank of Nevada, Bank on Accountability, MGM is looking to fill many positions quickly. The company is holding mass hiring events like this to help meet the newly returned demand. So this event in Las Vegas started on Tuesday, so the first day of the event. Um, we had probably at least 2,000 people show up for that very first day. And what we were really doing here is making sure we get people from the apply process all the way, a good portion of those people, all the way through actually being hired on the same day. Sports, sponsored by Scenic Brewing Company. Baseball is back at the Las Vegas ballpark, and as you can see behind me, so are the fans. About 5,000 fans were in attendance for the Las Vegas Aviators home opener on Thursday evening. 
Oh, we're just excited, you know, excited to get out of the house and, uh, you know, get to an actual sporting event, get a couple of crowds out here. Uh, Everything's opening up and uh, that's a lot of fun for us and, and the aviators, so we're excited to see you again. We are so excited. Not last year, but the year before we came to several games and this is my Mother's Day present. I'm so excited to be here with my son. I'm so glad to be back to sports, so. Yeah, I used to love going here all the time, just hanging out, having fun, and glad that we're back here. It's the first time that we've been able to go to a public event in a really long time, obviously. And we're vaccinated, so we feel good about doing it, and we feel safe. Sports betting, sponsored by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. The Golden Knights are minus 155 favorites tonight against the St. Louis Blues at T-Mobile Arena in what could be a first round playoff preview. The Blues are plus 140 at the Westgate and the total is five and a half. The Knights are plus 155 to cover the minus one and a half puck line. Vegas is four points ahead of Colorado and five points ahead of Minnesota in the West Division, whose winner will likely face St. Louis in the first round of the playoffs. In your lifestyle news, sponsored by Get Healthy Clark County, a new restaurant opening soon in the Arts District promises both blues and brisket. Soul Belly Barbecue is set to open to the public on Wednesday on Main Street. Out front, you'll find a pair of smokers named Big and Sexy, and in the back, a stage for live music. What's better than barbecue and live music, right? So we're going to have blues, rock, blues rock bluegrass, country, just some awesome, awesome local talents. And we're very, very excited about that. So opening day is May 12th. And of course, Sunday is Mother's Day. And this year, Nevadans are expected to spend more than ever on Mother's Day gifts. The Retail Association of Nevada predicted that Mother's Day spending will reach an all time high of over $440 million. According to the survey from the retail group, Nevadans expect to spend $14.8 million on greeting cards, $42.3 million on flowers, and $66 million on special outings. Thank you for watching 7 at 7 a.m. I'm Renee Summerauer. If you have Amazon Fire, just search Review Journal to download our channel. Watch Las Vegas breaking news streaming live on your OTT device. We'll see you back here later today at 7 at 7 p.m. from the Las Vegas Review Journal. Happy Friday. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.